Duluth is just such a, a beautiful city, a metropolitan area perched on the, uh, the rocky shores of Lake Superior, the greatest of the Great Lakes. Duluth is a community that people want to live in, first and foremost. It's a big, small town, uh, big city access, small town atmosphere. We're a very uh, forward-thinking community, very active community. Our access to recreation and sports, arts, entertainment for a city our size is really world-class. We've seen tremendous change and transformation of our local economy. Back in the early 80s, there was a sense that uh, things were hopeless, that we were going to very quickly uh, follow that downward spiral that many other older industrial cities in the Midwest followed. Economically, there hasn't been much to cheer about lately in Duluth, and all of the nation's economic conditions seem to be exaggerated here in northeastern Minnesota. It was a period of time when our economy was tied to the natural resource base here, timber and, and taconite. And it was a crisis for us when those couple of markets suddenly were unstable and uh, the ripple effect went all through our economy. We saw in Duluth unemployment near 20 percent. Everybody knew somebody who had lost their job. Everybody knew somebody who had been forced to move out of this area just to survive. You know, at one point there was a billboard on, that somebody bought on the outskirts of town that said, the last person to leave Duluth, turn out the lights. And that was kind of the, the sentiment uh, of the time. We swore to ourselves as a region that we would not uh, uh, continue to be reliant on a single resource based for our jobs and for our infrastructure. We instead said we're going to create our own opportunities. We're going to create our own uh, local economy using you know, the beauty of our area through tourism, uh, the strength of the people that work here in our health care and higher education uh, communities, and I think most importantly developing a, a strong sense of entrepreneurship. Some may not know that here in Duluth we build the world's best-selling four-place airplane. In just 10 short years, we've delivered over 4,500 aircraft. Well, we're in the process of bringing to market a medical communication device that's multilingual. Tourism is nearly an $800 million a year industry in Duluth, so Duluth tourism is one of America's great success stories. With law, with the furniture, you know, we really started out as carpenters with tool belts and really just kind of replaced them with technology. And it's working. But a tool like Google Fiber will allow us to compete with the rest of the nation. Duluth is the perfect community for Google Fiber to come to. It welcomes innovation, it fosters entrepreneurship, it fosters small business development. Folks in our community are, are thrilled uh, with being given this challenge, this tool, and saying, how can we best put this to use? How can we use it to transform how we do business? We see a lot of data have come between our company and our servers and the, each device. So the ability to, to push more packets and more data would be a benefit to our business. We're in Duluth, uh, a relatively small television market. The idea that we could increase bandwidth dramatically and we could feed programs more quickly to showcase and not only the work that's being done here, the quality of work, but also to showcase this area. Well, that's very significant to us. With the law of the furniture company, we launched online. So the faster and the more instantaneous information comes up, it's more like real life. We can put more data and content on, on our website and, and it's going to help us with sales. SMDC Health System is the largest employer in the Northland and because of that we are very excited about the potential of having Google Fiber come to the Twin Ports. With healthcare it's hard to imagine what the next steps are. We really are in a field that is developing so quickly. 
But one example, we now have a robotic system that is used during surgeries where the doctor may be 10 feet away from the patient that's being operated on. Well, what if we could have the patient and the doctor in two separate towns or in two separate states even? It's hard to know how Google Fiber might impact our healthcare. Future applications for higher speed internet are really boundless, expanding beyond this market our customers in, let's say, Japan can actually videotape their own biomechanics and let's say they're living in a rural area and we can help them stay injury free and to just enjoy running. We have a very strong undergraduate research opportunities program, but we would like to see more bandwidth available to the campus and I think it's a plus for our city that we have so many higher ed institutions in a city of this size. Technology begets technology. And so in some ways, we probably can only sort of see one order of magnitude ahead of us. And bringing the internet and the web into the airplane while we're flying, we're on the very cusp of that. Google Fiber is only going to bring every bit of that capability and more into the airplane. And I'm convinced, knowing the people that live and work here, they'll be up for the challenge, they'll be excited for it, and that we will create that success story that can be brought all across this nation to convince others to make a similar investment in, in their broadband infrastructure. We can be anywhere in the world. We've chosen to be here in Duluth because of the support the city of Duluth has given GEACOM. The Duluth community extended a hand you know, over a decade ago and said, we want you here, and probably one of the best decisions we could have made. I came back here and started my business because of the talent, you know, the talent that's in the schools up here. The culture that's here is allowing us to, to grow and prosper. I mean, with technology, it doesn't matter if I'm in Duluth, Minnesota or LA, but it's nice to be in Duluth. Mm -hmm.